Hi, this is Nicolette out here at Hidden Villa. I'm one of the teachers out here and one of the great places to hang out is in the wild parts of Hidden Villa. I'm standing beneath this beautiful big leaf maple and it's one of the trees that we find all around the farm and the wilderness. I'm going to talk to you about a problem that plants have and that is that they have to be able to spread their seeds around the wilderness far, far away because otherwise if they dropped all their seeds right below them, they would, uh, all the seeds would grow and kind of uh, crowd each other out. So my question for you today is, how do you think seeds are spread by these plants? So the answer is, that I uh, was going to share with you today is that the plants, the seeds have structures that allow them to go far and wide into the wilderness. So for example, this beautiful bay tree, uh, excuse me, this beautiful maple tree that we have here has a kind of seed that has like a wing on it. Let me see if I can find some. Oh yeah, here's some down here. So, so these are the seeds of the, of the maple tree. And what happens is if you throw them in the air or if they fall from the tree and the wind catches them, they spin like a helicopter. So let me see if I can, oh yeah, that's so cool. It's really fun actually to share that with the kids that come out to Hidden Villa. So we have all these, um, these little seeds with the sail on it kind of. And when the wind blows, the seeds fly far away from the mother tree. And that way we can grow a big, so, you know, we could grow a lot of maple trees, but far, far away from the mother tree. Pretty cool, huh? The second kind of plant I wanted to show you that has an adaptation for travel far distances is this little plant here. It's called the burr chervil. And each of the seed heads has little barbs sticking out. And so they can kind of cling to whatever walks by or brushes by the plant. So in this case, uh, if I were to walk by and my arm were to brush on the plant, the chervil would kind of hang on. See how hard it is for me to pull this off? And when, as I walk along, the bird chervil's going with me. And then somewhere down the road, I might brush another plant and the chervil seeds, or I might see them and pull them off and throw them down. And that, without any work on the part of the, the seed, that's the way that this seed can get all over the wilderness. So imagine the deer coming as well and walking along, this chervil grabs onto their, um, their fur. And then when they walk, a few miles away and scratch themselves, brush the birch chervil off, and it lands on the ground miles away from where they started. Okay, so I showed you the big leaf maple that has a seed with a structure that looks sort of like a wing, and it, it spins away with the wind from the mother tree. And then we looked at that birch chervil, which had the kind of spikes or hooks on the outside of the seed that grab onto clothes, grab onto deer, and other animals and the seed literally walks away from the mother plant. Now I have a third example and this these are seeds from the bay tree so they're called bay nuts and they are buoyant. Being buoyant means to be able to float. So these seeds can actually float down a river or a creek and uh, and get far away from the mother tree that way. So all they have to do is land in the water and they slide right down the waterfall, down the creek, and maybe miles and miles away. Three examples of the structures that uh, some seeds of the plants here at Hidden Villa have to be able to travel far away and have a better chance of survival. This is Nicolette speaking to you from Hidden Villa. Hope to see you on the farm.